1942, the tankers Munger T. Ball and Joseph M. Cudahy set sail from Texas, destined for the East Coast to deliver oil, an essential supply for Allied ships during World War II. Neither vessel made it to their destination. On the night of May 4th, 1942, a German U-boat, submarine, torpedoed, and machine gunned both tankers. The ship sank in their final resting place off the Florida Keys. While much of the cargo was either burned or released during the attack, it has long held that the tanks left intact still contained oil. Throughout the years, light oil sheens were sporadically reported in the vicinities of one of the wrecks. In June, a team comprised of members from the U.S. Coast Guard, the U.S. Navy, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the Maritime Administration, and the lead contractor, Resolve Marine Group, began assessing the wreck site identified previously to be a significant environmental threat. A careful marine archaeological study was conducted during the assessment, resulting in the discovery that the two vessels, Munger T. Ball and Joseph M. Coudier, had been misidentified for nearly 80 years, ultimately changing the course of history. This discovery is significant as the response team meticulously mitigates the pollution threat from the Munger T. Ball careful not to disturb the final resting place of its crew. The past century of commerce and warfare has left a legacy of merchant vessels and allied warships resting on the seabed. As a memorial to the most revered among us, those who paid the ultimate price for life and for liberty during World War II. The battle may be over, the storm might have cleared, but the memory of their service will never fade.